Today we're going to tell you about our free yard. So we moved into this house in 2011 and when we bought it we were the only house um, in this part of the neighborhood. They were still building the house next door to us but otherwise we were it. So this was nothing but a bunch of dirt. And, and giant weeds. And giant weeds everywhere. Pokey it was weeds. Yeah, it was a huge mess. So when we moved in, the construction workers were working on all the houses and I really wanted to get a yard put in, but we really did not have the $2,000 plus to buy sod to put in the yard and we didn't have a sprinkler system or anything yet. So it would have been hard to keep seed going. So as we <laughs> were watching them, <laughs> as we were watching them put the houses in, I got the brilliant idea to start dumpster diving and I was dumpster diving for wood and stuff for projects, but as I was doing that, I started coming across sod. And so I'd find a piece here and a piece there. And, and so we started just laying down these pieces of sod that we had found. And- Well, what first we were, we were looking at a dumpster over here and uh, we were looking specifically for the wood because it was a really nice wood and we thought we we're gonna build a shed with this wood. And uh, we happened to be looking in the dumpster and we said, oh, yeah. there's a bunch of sod here. And it was probably four or five wheelbarrows full. Oh yeah, yeah. And so after that, we started going to the dumpsters actually looking for sod. It was totally brand new. They just threw it in there because it was the extra. Yeah, it was just leftover pieces and they didn't want to haul it back and they couldn't really use it for another house. So we started every night just going in the dumpsters and looking and seeing if there was any sod. And we started getting to the point where we were able to put a little patch behind our yard. And we didn't rototill or anything. Poor Mike here. I love him dearly. <laughs> he was hand digging it all. And so he started hand digging it because we didn't think we would get that much. And so as we kept going, Every day we just kept getting a little bit more and a little bit more and eventually we ended up sodding our entire yard. And what I did in the end was as the neighbors were starting to build their other houses, I started to get to know the construction workers. <laughs> it's amazing how far brownies go. <laughs> so I started taking the workers brownies and they would leave all their sod in a pile on the sidewalk and we would just go gather it up every night. So then one day I, I went and asked them and I said, is there any way I can just park my pickup here and you can throw all the leftover pieces in the pickup? And sure enough, they agreed to it and I took them more brownies and they just started leaving the sod in our pickup. We would just park when we would see the sod truck come. We would just go park our pickup in front of that house and they would throw our leftover pieces. So we were able to do our entire yard for free with sod. And we did in the end ask another neighbor who's a landscaper to come and rototill because... Well, before we, we had only put 200, 100 or 200 square feet out. And then we asked a neighbor who was a landscaper if we could use his rototiller before we had a lot of the, the grass in. So we did do some prior to that, but we borrowed that rototiller and tilled everything and tilled a lot of compost into it. Um, yeah. Probably not enough. Yeah, we probably <laughs> didn't. And so we were able to get our yard in. Now, there's a couple of, of things that helped. One, we looked every day and we found the fresh sod and we put it down right away. Two, we just got to know the workers and I kept taking them brownies and eventually in the end, they started <laughs> delivering the sod to our house. And then one time they got the wrong rock and so they drove over to our house and asked if we wanted it and I said, well, yeah, sure. So then we got a whole pile of rock that we could put around our house, which we needed to do anyway for drainage. So it ended up working out really well. Now, the drawbacks, what was the drawback, dear? Doing it ourselves. Yeah, what was the other drawback? That piecing pieces? No, that you were in pain for two years. Well, when we moved in, I fell off of the moving truck as we were unloading it. And I didn't realize till later that I had actually torn a tendon. So that summer I was doing a whole lot of work and, and the tendon just was getting worse. And yeah, worse and worse. so but unfortunately it did make his torn tendon a lot worse. So he ended up having surgery. Um, but it would have happened from any kind of work. But yeah. So the poor guy was in a lot of pain when he was doing this and, and I really felt that later when we found out it was a torn tendon, but. 
It was funny though because it started out, we found the grass in the dumpster. Then we would watch the guys and then they would go dump it in the dumpster yeah. and we would take go to the dumpster that they just dumped it in and take it out. And then we said, hey, if we drive our pickup and leave it there, can you just put it in there instead of taking it over to the dumpster? And that was saving them time, so they thought that was great. And then pretty soon they came to us and they asked us for the keys to the truck. <laughs> it was an old pickup, so we weren't too concerned. Yeah, so we but, gave them the keys. These workers, we don't even know who they are. I mean, we know them. Well, we had not, learned that you know. they seemed trustworthy <laughs> enough and, uh, and they just wanted to drive it from one house to the other because they did, I think, 10 or 12 houses yeah. that day. And then they brought over that truckload. And, and after a while, they started getting really enthusiastic, thinking, how much of this have you done? And, yeah, wow, the workers almost, were thinking this was really cool. You're gonna how do we're your doing whole, a whole yard. <laughs> yeah, you're going to do your whole yard with scraps? And uh, towards the end, they started bringing you know, trailers full on their own trailer from other neighborhoods that they were working in because they just were excited about helping us get it done. Yeah, it was great. So it ended up being in a whole like neighborhood project and all our neighbors were laughing at us then because by that time the houses were up and people were moving in and they were laughing about how we put our yard in for free. So we got our entire yard, which is huge. We have a quarter acre and um, I mean, it's huge for which neighborhood works, standards. So. It works out to 11,800 square feet or something. And yeah. I probably about 8,000 of that is in the backyard. Yeah, so we got a huge chunk of sod for free and it took us three months to get it all done, but we did get it all done in three months and it worked out really good. And the only problem is it is a little lumpy because we were using little pieces like this at times and we would get really big hunks and then we get little pieces. And so we just kept piecing it all together like a puzzle. So well in the spots where it was a little bit lumpy we've kind of just added filled a little compost in between the or soil in between the grass and it's it's worked out pretty well the one the one drawback was um, our HOA said don't change the lay of the land because of the drainage uh, but there was one spot where it dips down and comes back up again and and we live in Colorado and this part of Colorado particularly there's never flooding. Yeah, there, were fl there was flooding all around us two years ago, but not here. And, and even if this had been an area like that, we could have leveled it out a little more. Yeah, we kind of wish we would have leveled it more, you know, just to make it easier, but. But if we had bought the sod, we would have made the same error. Yeah, that's true. So, so we got about $2,000 worth of free sod. Don't you think 2,000 probably? Probably. Yeah, about $2,000 worth of free sod. It took us about three months and it took us some work and several pans of brownies but man we way got our money's worth for this one don't you think sure and yeah. we didn't we didn't work continuously for three months we no. would it was probably what 15 20 minutes a night most nights occasionally it would be 30 minutes or an hour if we got a big haul but well it was basically whenever we found the sod so maybe yeah. one week there might be three nights we'd work 20 minutes on it yeah. uh, another week might be just one night some weeks there wouldn't be any uh, and towards the end we were really moving pretty fast as the guys were bringing it to yeah. us. <laughs> when they would just dump it, because you have to put it down right away and then, you know, water it. And we did get our sprinkler, after we realized we were starting to get more, we did get a sprinkler system put in and so we could water it easier. Um, but yeah, that's how we got $2,000 worth of sod for free. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment below.